The world of COVID-19 has forced some people to switch their livelihoods around entirely. A Havelock North woman used to sell safari trips to Africa. Now she's working as a coffee roaster. She's one of about 17,000 women in New Zealand who left the tourism industry due to COVID, far higher than the number of men. Our Hawke's Bay reporter Tom Kitchen has more. <coughs> The roar of a lion is the sound of life Linda Calder is used to. The king of the jungle roaming around your vehicle, a hyena under your car chewing on tyres, an elephant's trunk sniffing around your face. That's been replaced by the sounds and sights of coffee, the sorting of the beans, the turning of the coffee roaster and the rich, dark chocolate scent of her cafe's latest blend. Linda's life has been turned upside down due to COVID-19. A self-described safari travel designer, she fell in love with Africa during an OE. She spends most of the year in Hawke's Bay, but usually travels to Africa at least once a year. At the start of the year, things were looking bright for her safari business. We were heading for an amazing year. We had a huge amount of interest. We had already had, you know, obviously bookings um, for the year, and then the inquiry level was, was through the roof. But as the pandemic sank in, people put their bookings on hold and business stopped overnight. It was devastating, absolutely devastating. Um, it was really surreal actually because you just couldn't believe that everything that you'd poured your heart and soul into had, had just stopped and that, yeah, and there was nothing you could do about it. I think it was that, that, um, that feeling of just absolute hopelessness. As her business fell apart around her, she didn't know what to do. I put my hand, head very much in the sand, I think, like an ostrich, and um, you'd sit there and you'd have Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting with everyone around the world. There were some days I didn't want to get out of bed and you just really wanted to cry all day. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then it was like, well, actually, well, you know, we don't know when the end of this is and I'm not very good at um, A, feeling sorry for myself or B, being idle. So it was like, OK, what's next? Luck fell her way. A friend working at Hawthorne Coffee in Havelock North went on maternity leave and asked Linda if she was interested in taking over. It wasn't a hard sell, as it was Linda's favourite coffee spot anyway. She's their production manager, pulling together coffee orders so the roasters know how much coffee they're producing and where it's going around the country. I'm always learning, so I've had to um, upskill and, and do things like payroll and, and sort of office management things that I um, didn't know how to do. Plus, she's learned a lot about coffee. I had absolutely no idea about the coffee industry and, and how, a, how much coffee people drink. Um, we move a huge amount of kilos, kilos and kilos and kilos of beans around the country um, every day. And uh, the science behind it and our, um, it, is, it really is, it's, it's really similar to, um, to a winemaker, you know. Linda's one of about 20,000 people in New Zealand whose tourism career fell apart due to COVID. According to data comparing the quarter around September this year to last year, Stats NZ says women were disproportionately affected only around 3,000 of those 20,000 are men. While these are seasonal industries, Stats NZ says the size of this fall is unusual and likely related to COVID. Linda's liking her new life at the cafe, but she's just as keen to go back to safaris. She's already getting asked about when they'll restart. I think that it'll be a slow um, reintroduction to, to safaris and I mean I've had you know a couple of inquiries of people saying what do you think um, and yeah, you know it's still that you know I'd love to say absolutely let's go um, but I think the whole thing of having to do um, quarantine for us at the end and, and having to pay for it really shuts that down to, for, for a lot of New Zealand travellers. For now it's back to the coffee before she can get out on the road again to the elephants, lions and hyenas in the African desert. In Hadlock North, for Checkpoint, call Tom Kitchener Ho.